Welcome back viewers. This is your tutor CPH house cafe. And today we are going to be continuing our series on overheads. And the last video we saw how we apportion and allocate overhead costs to the cost centers, both the production and the service department. And that's what we call the primary apportionment. But having made that primary apportionment, now the next thing or the next step is to reapportion the service department costs to the production departments. Here, what we are apportioning, we are apportioning the services the service department costs or the costs we've the costs we've incurred or we've allocated in the service department. We are removing the whole of that cost and we are assigning them to or we are distributing them to the production departments. And the reason why we are doing so is that in the service department, there is nothing like production taking place there. Because what these service departments are doing, they only offer support to the production department so that the production can take place. Some of these, the, the, some of the examples of the service departments we can talk about, it may be the stores department. We say the stores department is the one storing raw materials that, that has been used in the production department. So the, store, the storage costs will be incurred. We apportion them to the production. So that we accumulate them, we are, we are piling up all the costs in the production department. The other one we can talk about the maintenance department. That's where the machines that are used in the production department, that's where they get repairs from. So the repairs cost is supposed to be taken to the whatever, to the production department so that we accumulate that and we maintain, we, we get a total cost that can be identified on the product at the end of the day. And the indirect costs, the indirect materials that are used in the stores department and the maintenance department, you are supposed to remove them and you put them into the production. The reason why we are doing so is because in the service department, there is nothing like production taking place there. What we are interested in is to know the total production costs because those service department, they were just helping the production. So we accumulate them since some of them, they, main, they consist of the production costs. So we have to accumulate them that side so that we get the production cost. And that's the reason we are doing so. And the whole of that, the process we are going through is called the secondary apportionment. The first one was to allocate costs to where they are they were incurred. That was primary apportionment. Now we are reapportioning the service department costs to the production costs. We can read through the notes. The notes is saying, the notes are saying the production, the primary distribution of overheads assigns overhead costs to different departments. However, it's important to further assign service department costs to production department because the service department do not themselves manufacture anything. They don't manufacture anything. But the production department, which performs manufacturing activities or transformation activities supported by the service department to undertake production process, and that's called secondary apportionment. These costs are reapportioned to the production department depending on how on how much each production de department has benefited from the service department or to the extent the to the extent to which a service department has been used by the production department what happens is that when the let's say these ma these machines that are used in the production department you find them, you, you may find that in a certain month or a certain period of time, you may find that the machines have not been maintained or they have not been repaired. They have been working. 
did not break down. So it means that the is the cost that would have been incurred in the manufacturing department in, in the sorry the maintenance department has not been incurred so it means we are only allocating these costs to this from the service department to the production department on the basis of how those production departments have used those services that are offered in those service departments and these are some of the methods we base on to determine, to allocate those costs or to share those costs from the service department to the production department. And the purpose as, as to why we are portioning these costs is that we want to accumulate all the, all the, all the overheads, all the overheads that are incurred in the service department and we will link to them to the production cost centers. The reason why we are doing so, we want to accumulate those costs at once. When we put those costs in the production department, from there, because the last step says we are, we, are absorb, we are absorbing the costs. What are we absorbing? We are absorbing costs from the production department, because that's where the production takes place. And we are relating those costs to the final outputs, what we have produced out. It may be in terms of we are relating it on, on each unit, that is a unit cost, or the whole production cost that has been incurred. That's what we call a secondary apportionment, and we have the methods that can help us do that by, that can help us apportion those services those service department costs, the production costs. One of them is direct method. And in this direct method, we are going to see how we apportion these costs in the next videos. We have the elimination method or the step up method, the repeated or the continuous method, and finally the simultaneous method. That's how we do that. And in each of these method, methods, I'm going to pick an examination question. That's a past paper question, and we'll look at, at it. We try to know how each of these costs can be shared from the service department to the production department using the, the, the whole of those methods. So follow and subscribe so that you can be able to so that you will be able to receive whatever I'll be posting because those videos are coming i'm posting these videos frequently so that you can be able to learn and we try to understand more thank you for watching